Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD. And yes, iOS 7 versus iOS 8, the complete comparison edition. And uh, let's get started. So within settings, uh, I did notice that no notification center between both OSs is a little different. Uh, it looks like Apple has removed today's view from version 8. Now, within general and series, it looks like they changed it a little bit more. Uh, as you can see on 08, uh, they have voice activation now, which is pretty cool. Within Spotlight Search, it looks like within the new version, they added a new searching feature, which is Spotlight Suggestions. Now, within general accessibility, a lot's been changed inside this little, uh, this feature. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but within the 07, it looks like they removed a bunch of stuff. They removed speech selection and speech auto text, and they condense everything into one little feature, which is speech. Voiceover has been changed with the new operating system. And if we go all the way down, it looks like they added a new feature between uh, this little section right here. So it's Braille, Rotor, and now they added speech. With the OOS 7, it looks like within the new one, they removed Use Compact. They removed Use Compact Voice from the OS 8. Language and dialects were removed from the new version. There's a new addition within the voiceover, which is Typing Style. Typing Style wasn't on part of the old OS. Now, if we go into General Accessibility Zoom, a lot's been changed here. As you can see, uh, 07 didn't have too much, just enable it. But on the new version, we have a lot of new features. We have follow focus, detach, zoom control, leave keyboard, uh, unzoom, lens mode, lens effect, and you're able to even maximize the zoom level. Now, another new thing that I noticed is the grayscale feature. Now, within the grayscale feature, this is pretty cool. With the old version, they didn't have it, but with the old scale, you can actually change everything to grayscale, which is pretty cool. This is good for blind people or people that are having problems with color vision. Another option that I noticed, if you go all the way to the bottom, uh, they kind of introduce phone noise cancellation with the new OS. Uh, so that's a new feature within the accessibility. Now within usage, it looks like they kind of uh, condense everything into one. Uh, they added a new feature called battery usage with the new OS, which is pretty cool because it actually allows you or gives you a, a point of view of uh, how long your battery has been using and the standby uh, hours and minutes. Now keyboard has been added uh, a new feature. Uh, within the iOS 7 is really self-explanatory. These are the features. Those features were carried over to the new OS, but something was added new, which is hardware keyboard. Uh, so that's pretty interesting as well. International was changed with the new OS language and region and has more features than the old one. It looks like they removed the keyboard feature uh, and also added an advanced feature with the new OS. So that's pretty cool. VPN also was added into the mix of something new. So within the OS 7, as you can see, you just get the old uh, just enable feature. And, but if you go to the 08, you get more of add VPN configuration. So that's pretty cool. On the old version, it just give you an on and off, and then you just add the configuration. From here, it don't really give you an enable feature. It doesn't give you that option to you know to turn it off and on. Within the sound features, uh, the only thing that's been added with the new OS is AirDrop. It looks like they added new features with pass lock code uh, from the iOS. And as you can see on 07, it doesn't really have allowed access when locked. Well, it actually does, but only has three uh, applications that is allowed to notify when locked. With the new OS, uh, more is added. Like today, notification views are the ones that were added into the mix. Now within system services, a lot's been added within system services with the new OS. As you can see, motion collaboration, it was added. And if you go all the way to the bottom, uh, you will see that product improvements was added with the new OS. And they, they never had it on the old 07. Uh, diagnostic usage, popular near me, traffic, and improved maps 
or new features with the new OS. Within the privacy section, it looks like they added a new application which was not part of 007. Uh, it's now camera, which is the new feature. iCloud has been reinvented and also redesigned for the new OS. As you can see, you get a nice little uh, section of your name as well as whatever email address you have, which a nice little icon picture. Uh, also, you get the setup family sharing feature that's within the iCloud. Another feature that was added within the iCloud within iOS 8 is look me up by my email, which was never introduced to iOS 7. Within mail, contacts, and calendar, a new feature was introduced with iOS 8, which was left triage action. And as well as if you go all the way to the bottom to the calendar section, uh, you will see a huge difference. Uh, week numbers, show invites decline, and as well as default calendar was added with the new iOS, giving the user more options to manipulate the calendars for each mail account. Now, a new cool feature which was added for the new iOS 8 is this cool feature called store messages forever. <laughs> iOS 7 never had that feature, but it looks like Apple has given that feature that we are able to keep our stored messages forever, all 30 days or one year. So that's a pretty cool feature if you want. Now within FaceTime, FaceTime has a new option which is called iPhone cellular calls. This means that you can actually use FaceTime with your iPhone cellular connection, your carrier, Sprint, Verizon, AT&T. So that's a new feature with the iOS 8. Something that was removed from iOS 7 and not brought to iOS 8 is preferred directions. With 7, it used to give you an option to driving and walking within your maps. Now with 8, they kind of removed that feature. Now another thing that I noticed is within Safari. Now Safari search engine was something has been added with the new iOS 8. As you can see, DuckDuckGo was added as a search engine. So that means you don't need to use Google anymore as your primary search engine when you're typing into the text box. You can actually change it into DuckDuckGo if you're a big fan of that search engine. Safari also has new features within the iOS 8, uh, which wasn't part of the iOS 7. As you can see in, within the search option, you have search engine, which is there. Uh, search engine suggestions is also part of the new iOS 8. Spotlight suggestions, a new added feature, and quick website research. Now within Safari iOS 8, uh, it looks like search engine suggestions were added into the options. Spotlight suggestions were also added, and quick website search was added. As well as preload top hit is a new feature within iOS 8 that iOS 7 did not have. Now within photos and camera, it looks like Apple has introduce a new feature within these settings called iCloud Photo Library. It was never part of iOS 7, so that's a new feature within iOS 8. Now within your photo apps, uh, it looks like they reorganize or change the way the folder system works within the photo albums, which is pretty cool. Uh, they actually give you an option of recently deleted files. So if you do delete something by accident, this is the section where you could recover it, which is pretty cool. Another feature that they added within the taskbar right here, uh, they kept the photos and albums, but they added right in the middle the share option, which allows you to share your content within your library. Another cool feature is within your camera app. Now within the camera app, they all, they got the standard basic ones. They got the pano, square, photo, video, but they added a new option, which is time-lapse. Really popular right now, videos doing time-lapse. So I haven't been playing around with this too much, but I will be playing around with it. Now the notification panel has been changed as well within the iOS 8 version. If you go all the way to the bottom, they give you a edit option, which allows you to add more features within your notification panel. Searching has also been reinvented within the iOS 8. So as you can see, more has been added uh, within your search. Spotlight search now searches everything and it's more enhanced. Now one of the cool things about the new OS is that the messaging has been approved tremendously. So let me show you what I mean. So within the iOS 8, uh, if you're in your home screen playing around, playing a video game or something and you get a, a text, so if I send a text out by Kai, you're automatically gonna get the text right here and you're able to click, drag, and text on the spot, which is a plus. I kind of like that feature a lot. Another thing that I noticed with the new iOS 8 that iOS 7 has 
is that within the weather app, it looks like Apple has removed Yahoo as a vendor and added the weather channel as their primary weather app. Now within voice memo, it looks like they kind of rearranged the design here. They gave you a nice little speaker option at the top, a play button right next to the recording, and they kind of expanded the no recording section of the app. Now another cool feature is the double home feature. Now the double home feature is basically you double click on your, double, your home. And as you can see, you can see whatever is running in the background. But if you kind of look kind of close, if you have been contacting someone constantly, they had a recent contact section at the very top at the new operating system. Uh, so the new iOS 8 gives you this nice recent uh, feature that allows you to call them, text them, FaceTime them, and also do a video call with them, which is pretty awesome. So that's it guys. Those are the kind of a comparison between iOS 7 and iOS 8. A lot's been changed. A total of about 38 new features that I've found so far. If you guys have found other features within the new OS that's different from the old OS, shoot them down at the bottom of the comment section and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.